Okay, this is Elias. All right, I think uh, poses look pretty good. I think it'd be good to, you know, try to come up with something more original. Um, but, you know, you can start with that and maybe have some kind of twist on it, uh, some surprising happen at the end or something. Also, uh, to get from here to there, you would need a lot more poses. So I wouldn't just jump from here to there. You would have to do a series of steps. And that's maybe probably too much. Really, the whole thing's just supposed to be up to 10 seconds anyway. So uh, you could probably get it in for less than that. Um, and uh, um, concerning the cheek, uh, Anyway, so let's look at this in the Maya file. So, where are your curves, wings? Oh, what in the heck? How did you move them over there? That is fascinating. Because the rig's not moving over there. Wait, why is this? Is there more than one rig in here? This doesn't seem to be updating with the character at all. Where those pieces are? Is it still working? Oh, it's just kind of being funny. Alright, I don't know. It just wasn't sort of updating for some reason. Okay, I guess it is working. Weird. Anyway, uh, okay, um, yeah, one thing is if you are going to move the character like this, uh, don't animate the main control. I had uh, emailed all of you guys uh, not to animate this main control, um, and I also put an announcement about it, so uh, otherwise if you try to do that, the feet will just slide around like ice skates, so you don't want to animate this main control. You'll want to move him by this control and his feet and stuff like that. Um, let's open up your rig file and uh, take a look. Um, is it this one? Okay, uh, yeah, it probably shouldn't be posed in the rig file. So I'm just going to reset that and see if we can figure out what the deal with the... Uh, um hmm. here it seems to be all right so far let's just check the weights here i'm going to do control f9 to see the uh, convert to vertices window uh oh maya seems to have crashed Control Shift Escape, and yeah, I'm not responding. I mean, sometimes you can wait a minute and it'll come back. Um, it's really hard. There's no way to know if it's going to come back. But I'm not real optimistic. It looks like it's doing something. Anyways, I'm gonna kill it. Okay. and open file and let's set project okay and we said now I'll pose okay and you don't want any uh, any pose in this file really so I'm gonna Ugh, that got removed. That's annoying. Where did I put that stuff? Okay. 
pose reset and where were we we had selected the face control f9 i think this is where we left off window journal editors component editor Let's see if it's got a bunch of weird weights some but not super too many i expected to find more odd weights on this Oh, I have another idea of what it could be. Um, yeah, okay, so it's probably not a weighting issue. I'm thinking, therefore, it's probably a blend shape issue. There's no blend shape either. Ah, that's very interesting. Um, I'm having trouble replicating the issue. Um, mm. I'm going to save him as it is, and let's open up your other file where we were able to see the problem. Okay, and we go back to the beginning here, and we are indeed seeing that problem there. You put the blend shape on in this file, not in your rig file. So the blend shape should be put on in the rig file. And that's a real not good, messy way to work. Because you've referenced this in and then added the blend shape. So I'm going to guess it's an input order problem. But I don't even know if it lets me change the input order. Uh, if it's a reference file, let's take a look. Little mouse drag this. That did absolutely nothing. Um, uh, wow. Nothing. Uh, Mouth look normal here. Already looks messed up, doesn't it? It's sort of pushed in. But all those are zeroed out. I can't really tell. I'll have to check the other file. But let's just. Yeah, there it goes again. Um. Yeah, I mean, I, I really think it has something to do with adding a blend shape onto a file that you've referenced in, because I'm quite sure that this blend shape was not... Well, you know how I can tell it's if I, do, if I can delete it. Um, that means that it was done in this file. So I just deleted the blend shape, and... Now it's really freaking out. Didn't like that. Just gonna open the file again. Reset. Yeah, I just want to kind of take a look at this face. Uh, see, that looks messed up there, so I think there's more going on here. Dang it. You've got delete component there. That's a bad sign as well. So, what I would do is, do you have your blend shape? Um, target shapes in here. Is that what these are? Just head and left eyebrow. Where are the other shapes? Well, anyway, I think what I would do is this. Um, I 
if you wanted to keep the animation in here. Is it going to let me delete that? Oh, wait a minute. Is the character not referenced into the file at all? Oh, it's just the set that's referenced into the character file. Oh. That's interesting. That's not the right way to do it. Um, oh, okay. I was confused. I thought that you. I just the reason I thought you, since you had the other character file, I assumed that you had referenced it in, because other stuff was referenced in. But I was mistaken. So this sort of is the character file essentially. So let's. Um, Oh, this is all screwed up now. Hmm. Well, if you want to keep this animation, um, what we can do is, uh, let's have the rig stuff, you know. So what I would do is do um, export the animation, make a fresh scene, bring the stuff back in, and then import the animation. And, and I think, I guess what uh, I'm not understanding here is um, what happened. And also, where are these heads? Eyebrow up L, like mouth fv do you have that file select mouth no or did you just change this maybe let's export the shapes as well um one shape i guess whatever so i'm going to export those i'm going to export the animation window settings preferences plugin manager make sure anim import export is turned on now it is select the top group of the hierarchy file export selection options anim export very important to do hierarchy below, leave everything else default, and this is in our scenes pile. We'll call this just anim, real simple names. Now I will make a new. S okay, now I will open a scene. I will open the this character file, and I will import the blends. Was that going to work? I've never tried that before. I'm not sure. Um, those animation editors, shape editor, file, uh, oh, put one shape, file, import shapes, there we go. Are those working? Yes, they seem to be working. Do they freak out when you move the character? They don't seem to be freaking out when I move the character. Okay, that seems to be working. All right, let's just save this little something else. Mail 46, how's that? I don't like spaces and names. 46, okay. And then, okay, so now we have the proper rig file with the blend shapes on them. Now let's make a new scene. And let's, you can reference it in both the set and the character if you want, or you could just open the um, set and then reference in the character. Either way, um, just try to keep it not too confusing. Okay, so he's in there and let's now import the animation. So we need to pick the top of his hierarchy, which is believe this one, that same group node, file, import, options, 
Um, anim import, import scenes, anim, I called it. Very creative. And now he is working. Um, and it's not doing that crazy mouth thing. So I'll just, let me just call this set 15. So the, um, the only thing you'd have to fix is if you did set up the, uh, this control here, you know, like that, you would need to go back into the rig file and, uh, hook that up again. But other than that, I would say is generally working, although I think because I deleted the keyframe of that, that's not in the right position, but you can put that back. Um, so I hope that's helpful. Let me know if you want any of those scene files, or I'll just post them.